Cornell, uh, I, I have admired your mind for politics for a long time, and this next question is serious, and uh, it is meant to make you um, turn on your memory bank. When was the last time, can you think of a time, when the party in power, White House, House, Senate, also exploded before our very eyes? <laughs> well, uh, first, Brian, let me say heart and prayers go out to the people of Puerto Rico. It's a place Absolutely. that I go to all the time. And I've been watching your show. And my, my heart's breaking for paradise, and, and, and they deserve better than the second-class citizenship uh, status that they're being shown right now. You know, this does sort of remind me of, to, you know, I, I was also ch uh, Chairman Dean's pollster coming in and when we were going up against Chairman Steele. Uh, you know, in, in 2000 and 2005, we, we came in, and, and, you know, the Republican, and do you remember, Brian, Carl Rove was talking about a permanent Republican majority at, at, at that time, and, 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 and what we saw unfolding was a culture of corruption, and we Democrats pounded Republicans around a culture of corruption and undermined their, their brand. I, I see some similar elements right now going into the, this next midterm where, look, you know, Trump talked about draining the swamp. And, and the chairman knows this better than anyone else, is that when, when, when Americans think about sort of these big cats in Washington, they think of these big cats smoking cigars, <laughs> eating steaks at, <laughs> at, at Charlie Palmer's and flying around in private jets. It, it, it encapsulates all that they think is wrong with Washington. And for a guy who came into, to, into Washington claiming that he was going to drain the swamp, and, that's, and that he has a billionaire cabinet who's flying around in private jets uh, at the taxpayer's expense, it goes, it goes hard against his brand. And Democrats would be smart to sort of pound Republicans and pound the president, undermining key elements of, 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 of his brand about sort of draining the swamp and being different here, because I think in the midterms, it could pay off at undermining uh, their brand, but I still think Democrats, and I know the chairman's going to agree with me, I still think Democrats uh, need a positive message about, yeah. about themselves, yeah. but I think we do have a line of attack on Republicans going into the midterm and the president going into the midterm, but I just don't think it's enough until Democrats have a really powerful message about sort of why they're a better alternative than Republicans, not just Donald Trump yeah. and Republicans are bad. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.